Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. I'm over here at the West Coast Academy Training Center. Boom! All right, so check this out. Today we are going to announce the winner for the Canna Metal Machine Your Way to IMTS Academy Contest. I got two finalists. These guys are amazing. So first we have Matt Wilkinson, who actually taught himself how to machine over the last year. It hasn't even been a year yet, right? He taught himself how to machine using the building blocks. And then for the contest, he took the Titan 9M, actually machined it out of titanium, just stepped up big, and actually machined some other components and created a working functional clock, right? And then we have Bobby Brewster, Academy host number 22, Boom, making it happen. But this guy, he actually created a dodecahedron. You got 12 different sides. So it sits down and around the 10 sides around it, he actually has miniature academy building blocks all the way around, right? He just scaled it and then machined the eagle and then it just is epic. So I'm excited because I have two amazing individuals as finalists here two machinists that go beyond themselves to help their community of machinists and students and basically they help the whole trade rise so today i'm gonna have fun we're gonna call right now we're gonna call the winner and we're gonna announce them and then they're gonna go to imts because they're getting two tickets they're getting hotel accommodations they're getting 300 dollars on a card they're going to a vip can of metal party and it's all going down so one person is about to win that prize right now so let's make it happen Woohoo! i'm so excited hey matt what's up bud how are you good how are you good man you guys cranking the spindles over there or what yeah actually we are we're just running mills mills waiting to run so waiting for you to get off this phone so you can actually go over there and make things happen yeah it is. that's awesome so it's awesome having you as a finalist on the Machine Your Way to IMTS, the Academy Contest put on by Kenna Metal. And I'm excited to talk to you. But first I wanted I wanted to like say, like Bobby Brewster, I mean, that guy is like a beast, right? That was that yeah, was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So you didn't know him before, you just met him in the Academy group, right? Yeah, and I saw the deal on the TV show you guys did with that foot fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually had him and his family on my show and uh, amazing manufacturing family. And, and it's great because he is an Academy host, number 22. So he's actually working with kids and working with, you know, people teaching them the trade. And then he did the dodecahedron and, and it was amazing, right? And he made all the miniature little building blocks, like little cute little 10 M's. I mean, it's yeah, pretty, it's pretty awesome, pretty cool. man. What do, what do you think about what he did? I like it a lot. I yeah, did good. Yeah, it was, it was good because both of you guys did something so different, but both of them, you know, came out with everybody had so much respect for him. Like there was no clear winner. Everybody was kind of looking at both and just being like, man, these are legit. You know what I mean? So I'm excited because uh, we're actually giving you know, the prize to somebody who's very deserving. You know what I mean? So we right. talked we talked to Kenna Metal and we, and we got their take and I talked to my whole team. Uh, we, we looked at all of it. We looked at your paperwork. We looked at the part. I'm actually gonna take like a nice big chain right here. You know what I mean? And <laughs> like, boom, what's up, baby? <laughs> Just playing, but oh, dude, it's sick. I mean, this thing is sick, right? So when, when we actually looked at what you did here and the different parts and how you designed it and how you have the Titans of CNC, the can of metal, it's a working clock. And just, you know, taking something that's aluminum that we trained you aluminum, right? I didn't, nobody trained you how to do titanium. And then you went and bought titanium, actually shipped it in and actually went after it not only to create a clock, but to teach yourself something so that you can actually rise, right? So what was your what was your thinking on doing this clock right here? Well, I knew I do I, I knew I wanted to do the 9M in titanium. Um, why the nine why the nine why the nine M? It's my favorite part, so with the surfacing and yeah. um, it's the building block. 
a lot going on. Yeah, everything is like kind of like, you know, everything is very basic, like threads, pockets, you know, mirroring, islands and stuff. But when you step into the 9M, now you have the multi-axis surfacing. And we actually teach three different styles of multi-axis surfacing where you're ball tracking with a ball end mill. And just it, right there when you do that, it makes you like where you understand, I can literally machine anything now, right? Right. It just teaches yeah. you the secret, so. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to do that aluminum. Um, I wanted to do titanium to learn the material. And uh, um, yeah, as far as plot goes, trying to figure out how I was gonna incorporate that into something and saw the center board and thought, I'm gonna make a plot. So there That's it awesome, is. man. Well, you did a good job. And I wanna like, you know, I just didn't, I didn't want to do you a certain way and then, you know, not actually talk to you, you know what I mean? But, so, I just want to, like, say that you did a great job. I got to call Bobby now, all right? So, okay. I will talk to you in a little bit, okay? All right, buddy. I'm just kidding. Dude, you won. You won. <laughs> That was pretty good. What's up? So, anyway, <laughs> I almost had you on. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go call Bobby. What's up? But, no, Bobby, Bobby, dude. If you didn't do this out of titanium, Bobby, Bobby would have won it like hands down. You know what I mean? Like he did an amazing job. But I just want to congratulate you, Matt, because you are getting two tickets to go to IMTS. You've never been there, right? No, never. It is never a beast. Probably. It's a beast of a show in Chicago. I love it. It's every two years. We're gonna go hang out at the Kenna Metal VIP party after hours. It's gonna be amazing. So I know they got they got like they got like a room for you. They got some cash money for you, and uh, they're doing it big, right? Right on, awesome. So I'm I'm super pumped for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Awesome, man. Anything boom. you want to? Boom! I love it. Anything you want to say? No, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate I appreciate the academy. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this without it, or not nearly in the time frame. You know, it's been. September 15th will be a year since I made my first part. That's so now good. That's the 1M in, in, uh, in, what is it, 10 months or 11 months now? 10 and a half months. So I'm here doing this. So pretty cool. And we, we, we've known each other since then, right? Because you, you joined the academy and then you messaged me and asked me if I knew anybody that wanted to buy a sand reel. Remember that? Yep. Yep. So yep. you built a sand. So let's let's go through what how it happened. So you built a, your own sand rail, and it was amazing, right? Right. It was a it was a wreck that I rebuilt. I bought bought it uh, bought it cheap, um, five hundred twenty five horse uh, LS one powered rail, and uh, rebuilt it from the ground up, and put it back together in six months. And then uh, I knew I was going to flip it, and I knew I wanted a mill, and when I talked to you, when we, when I first talked, started talking about buying a mill, you had mentioned about uh, buying a new one from Haas, but did not want to go be stuck in a payment that yeah. I wasn't guaranteed to be able to make. I wasn't trying to like lead you in the wrong way. I, I, I didn't, yeah. we didn't actually know each other. I was just giving you some advice, right? right? But, yeah, but, and you, but you went in a different direction and, and that was awesome. And what happened? I found, uh, well, I found this thing, I found this mill in Canada what kind of mill uh, is it? It's a 2004 uh, Deco Mono uh, DMG 103. Cool man. Uh, makes this is the 13th of that machine in the in the United States. So it was kind of yeah, I couldn't go to Canada and look at the machine, but it worked out. It got here and worked perfectly. I took a big I took a big chance on you know buying something sight unseen, but it's been working great. And you were excited, like a little kid, going up and getting your first machine. And then you took, oh, then you took pictures of it, and I remember you posting it, and basically yeah. put it on the floor. And then you didn't know how to use it, and you basically used the academy and the building blocks to basically go in and start cutting, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, it's uh, been a pretty cool trip. Yeah. So you did all ten building blocks, and by the time yeah. you were done with all ten building blocks, you could pretty much machine almost anything, right? Yeah. We were yeah, talking fixturing, running multiple parts, cutting soft jaws, and doing all of that. And then you had posted, so I got a good memory, man. I remember you posting that you got your first, you were actually running your first parts 
for a paying customer? Yeah, um, I've got uh, I've got four jobs right now stacked up for it. That uh, to get stacked done. up. I like that word. Four jobs yeah. stacked up for the mill that you didn't have a year ago. Exactly. So it's good. All good paying stuff. And now you're up there in Oregon, Rampage Manufacturing, manufacturing right here in the great United States of America with your own machine, with your own tools, making it happen. So good. Boom. Boom. Hey, what do, what do you got any advice for uh, young people trying to come into the trade that are thinking that, you know, it's too difficult and that it's too hard to learn CNC machining and stuff? No, don't. If, uh, if I can do it, I mean, anybody can. I didn't have, like you said in the video the other day, you know, I didn't have any, any idea about CNC machining. You know, I've got water jet, but it's all 2D. Yeah. It's so be, super simple. So before this, just so everybody knows, you actually were a fabricator, right? And I say fabricator with respect. You were welding and taking steel plates and making bumpers and making different designs for people for like automotive and different things, right? Yeah, we do. We were, our core business has always been agricultural and industrial work doing, you know, water jet cutting. Then back in 2011, I started building bumpers. So we have, we have our own line of bumpers. Then we also do powder coating. And then, but I always wanted to get into machining. So it's uh, very appreciative of the academy and what you guys have done because it's, it's really accelerated what I could do. Awesome. Um, I couldn't have done this in college and be at this level. There's no way. Yeah. Neon, you know, when you were talking to me about networking, we're very in the beginning a year ago. You know, it, it's happening. Cause yeah. I've made some pretty, pretty good relationship with a handful of people. That's awesome, man. You know, there's you know, Kenneth and Eric Schaefer, um, Clark Tross, you know, quite a few people that I've, you know, actually making relationships with, you know, that are real and genuine. Yeah. And you put the work in. I mean, and now you're talking about doing ink canal parts and stuff. So, like, you're going after the challenges and you're taking your skills. Everybody talks about manufacturing. And, and I always say, like, you got to put the work in, right? You got to out hustle, out work, out learn the competition. And you got to love this trade and actually go after it. And if you and if you love this trade and you put the work in, then then you're guaranteed you're going to rise. And that's what Absolutely. I've watched you over the last year. I've, I've watched you rise and I watched, I watched Bobby. When I did the show, they were like trying to figure out how to run titanium and stuff. And, and they asked mm -hmm. me to do the titanium uh, foot pegs for him. It was a real job. I really did do it for them on the TV show. Right. And then today he's killing it with titanium. He's killing it with fixturing. He's like, he's teaching other people. And, and that's how people are just growing in this trade. And uh, I just love seeing it, man. So... Anyway, I want to I want right. to definitely to everybody out there, you know, huge props, huge shout out to Bobby Brewster from the Hilo Concepts, who was the runner up. He did an amazing job, an amazing job and stuff. And uh, we just we just want to give him props. But today we're yeah. thank we're giving giving you you are the winner of the Academy contest. Yeah. Thank you to Kenna Metal for putting up the prize and making it all happen. This is all you guys. Thank you. And, dude, I'm going to see you in IMTS. Boom. All right. Boom, boom. All right. Go get that spindle turning. If it ain't turning, it ain't earning, right? Exactly. All right. You got to get this thing thank down now. Much. All right, Matt. Thank you so much for all the positive things you do online on our Academy group. Uh, thank you for creating this amazing clock right here. This thing is a beast. It won you a trip to IMTS, and I will see you at IMTS. I will see you at the Kenna Metal Party, and uh, I can't wait, man. I can't wait either. Thank you so much. Woo! All right, man. Boom. I'll see you later, bud. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Of course, man. Take care. Okay. Bye.